Welcome to NextLogic Printed Circuit Board's video series. In this session, we will cover the complete PCB cycle from design to production. In the PCB layout phase, NextLogic engineers create board files and identify its net list, which is a connections list between different components on a board. This step is followed by library creation for components, whereby engineers review the component data sheets containing mechanical dimensions, footprints, package types, symbols, decals, and pad stacks. During component placement phase of PCB design, NextLogic engineers first place the components that have mechanical constraints. After this, other critical components are placed such as microprocessors, BGAs, and main ICs, followed by decoupling capacitors, passive components, and test points. The routing step comes next, where critical nets are routed first, followed by the remaining nets that will either be hand-routed or auto-routed. After the routing is complete, the design is verified by running a design rule check and cleaning the errors. Post-processing is the final step of PCB design, which includes creation of Gerber file, drill files, fabrication and assembly drawings. Boards are then fabricated using a fabrication house of choice by NextLogic. At the assembly stage, the PCBs go through multiple steps, from stencil printing to placing the components using pick-and-place machines on SMT lines. Then the board goes through reflow oven. NextLogic uses Fuji as well as MyData pick-and-place machines for most of its projects. These SMT pick-and-place machines have flexible placement systems designed for high mix and low volume production. These placement machines are utilized for quick and easy programming and changeover without much downtime. The reliability of these machines and their high precision rate are important for prototype and production jobs. Component placement is followed by inspection using AOI machines to verify the integrity of assembly. Then the board goes to final touch-up and QC. At the end of the assembly process, the board goes through a battery of tests at NextLogic. These tests include flying probe test, in-circuit test, and functional test. Flying probe tests are mostly used for prototype development, low to medium value manufacturing, and field returns. It is easy to set up, conduct open short circuit checks, and wrong value of the components. It also verifies component placement and identifies missing components. However, for performing power-up testing, NextLogic uses in-circuit testing. The boards that fail at any stage of testing are then sent to rework stations at NextLogic. At those rework stations, IPC train test engineers and technicians debug and rework these boards so that they can be retested to pass the test. Functional tests check specific functionality of the board and is normally the last test before a high-quality assembled board is shipped out of a NextLogic's facility. This completes the cycle of PCB process at NextLogic. Thank you for your time and we hope you found the material helpful. For further information or if you have any questions, contact one of our PCB specialists at 1-888-NEXTLOGIC or email us at support at nextlogic.com.